Yeah, guys, not only was this a deadly crash, but police think uh, the suspect involved with this could have been involved in another crash the same day. I did not stop for the stop sign at that intersection and, and hit the SUV, causing it to roll. Norman police say the 22 year old driver hit an SUV full of family members Sunday. It happened at the intersection of Rock Creek and 60th Avenue Northwest. The individual left the scene of the collision on foot, and so um, we established a perimeter and were searching a number of areas. After a search effort that lasted several hours, he was finally taken into custody. That arrest occurred at approximately 9.38 p.m. The initial collision occurred at 12.27 p.m., so pretty significant um, amount of time that had a kind of elapsed in that scenario. Police tell us the driver in the SUV that was hit didn't make it. One of those individuals, the driver, a 40 year old female did die due to injuries sustained during that crash. And a 38 year old man is in critical condition tonight. Two kids were also injured, a 14 year old and a 10 year old. While their injuries were serious, they're in recovery. But police believe this wasn't the only collision the 22 year old suspect was involved in Sunday. They've received information that this individual was involved in a crash on I-35 that was being worked by the Oklahoma Highway Patrol. Um, and that information had been you know, put out that this individual had left the scene of that collision as well. Now, the suspect was arrested on complaints of manslaughter and leaving the scene of an injury crash. We're not saying his name tonight because he has not been formally charged. In Norman, Jason Berger, KOCO 5 News.